So yeah, they, the Dr. Oz show basically uh, did an announcement that they were searching for a new trainer um, or two to be featured on the show for the website um, and on the show as well. And they asked us to submit videos, so I think they said about seven or eight hundred videos were submitted and they selected four finalists. Um, and they're going to pick two of us, so I was invited to go on the Dr. Oz show, which aired yesterday. And we had 20 seconds to tell the world why we are America's next great trainer. So in 20 seconds, you kind of rush through your philosophy, show them a quick move, and um, but it was fun. I had a really good time, and you know I think I have a very unique approach to fitness um, and health as, as a whole. So um, I'm hoping to get voted. Okay, when when he had his class, you know he, he teaches you a bunch of philosophies about about a lot of a lot of different things as, as far as wellness goes. And really, um, all I had to do was start incorporating them into my regular everyday life. And in a sense, it's going to help us be more alert. We're going to get better sleep. You're going to eat better. You're going to get healthier. You're going to lose weight. And it pretty much every aspect of drug driving, it's going to actually help you. Sure. And he you know, also um, he incorporates exercise, actually, that you can do in the truck. Is that what I understand? Yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of what he's doing, um, and he talks he talks to me about is I'll ask him questions about stuff that I'm doing, and he'll give me um, something to do with it. For example, like when I do my bicep curls in the truck, I also do a squat because you don't normally, like he says, you don't normally just just sit here and do bicep curls. You actually you're doing something. So it's, it's stuff like that that he's trying to get incorporated with us too. It's functional movement. Tell me again, uh, how much weight have you lost in the, is it the last year or? Within the last nine months, um, I've lost approximately between 35 and 45 pounds. And it's just by eating better, less soda pop, less sugars and sweets, less processed foods, and more vegetables, things that are just absolutely good for you. A lot of water, a lot more water than, you know, what I was used to drinking. And it's just good stuff, vitamins, you know, all of it. It's a, it's a holistic approach to fitness. We're holistic beings, so I don't just talk about exercise and diet. One, it's breathing, um, how you breathe, diaphragmatic breathing, not only um, fights disease, but it boosts your immune system and it increases self-awareness. With that self-awareness, then you start making decisions based on a higher level of consciousness and awareness. So we talk about, you know, what is your rest like? What are your relationships like? Do you get enough touch? because all these things are tied to wellness. So when I teach health and fitness, it's not just exercise and diet, it's holistically, how's your life and how can you incorporate small things that really have a huge impact on your health. 